Hey YouTube. So it's um, Wednesday morning and a nice sunny day. Looks like it's going to be a nice day today. So I have this uh, log on here this morning. I had put it on the other day. It's got a pretty good crook in it there. I'm not even sure of the length of this thing. I better check it out. Um, yeah, it's eight foot eight. I might be able to cut a little bit off that end so the crook's uh, not affecting the wood as bad. But I'll cut a couple of two by fours out of that if I can. A couple pieces of one by maybe. Um, this this is a really nice log here. Um, this one, I'm not sure the length of this. I think it's 12 foot. I'm hoping it is because I need a couple of 12 footers yet. I actually need some 14 footers as well. What do we got here? 12 foot 6 so that's good they'll give me some 12 footers the um the the trusses on the garage the uh, top cord or the rafter part takes a 14 footer but the the uh, bottom cord or the uh, ceiling joist takes uh, two 12 footers to reach across where the, what I'm going to build so I want to have all that stuff together so I can make the trusses. But we're going to cut as we go and see what we can come up with. Eight footers are always handy. So I had Bullseye out this morning already. So I don't know if you can see him. He's huffing and puffing over there a little bit. I also was uh, at a, my doctor appointment this morning and I got a excellent from him. So. The new medicine that I was taking that I had told you about a couple months ago uh, for the diabetes is working fantastic. Okay, so on to something interesting. So let me get going with this uh, sawmill. I gotta warm it up and we're gonna cut this one up and then we'll go to that bigger one. Now even though this log at the end there measured for a seven inch cant, you can see that uh, it's bent so badly that I'm ending up with a four inch can. Well, guys, I managed to get two eight foot two by fours out of there, and that's it. And um, Actually, it might only be one. You see this split here? It's a stress crack, probably from that uh, kink that was in that tree. Bearing down on this thing. So, looks like the other one is all right. But that one's got, I'm not sure of how much of it. Yeah, you can see it's all the way down here, so that's going to be junk. I'm going to have to toss that. It's a shame. This one looks good. So one 2 by 4 out of that. That was hardly worth cutting. You can see that thing is opening up while, it's, while we're standing here. I'll probably break that in half just by dropping it. Yeah. That's what happens when you, when you have wood that's been in compression. Well, that log went on there nice. Um, I used that secondary chain over there to level, keep it level. Uh, I look, that log probably, I don't know, you're probably looking at around 16 hundred pounds for that depending on the moisture content in it it's pretty darn heavy but I have it up past the uh, tow board up here if I have to lift it up it's a nice looking log it looks pretty even it's uh, 17 at this end 16 at the other I don't even know if it's worth picking the tow board up for that uh, probably I won't so I'm gonna unchain it unhook it and then get set up and I'll start cutting that. I'm 
turning on and off the camera because I'm running out of battery here. I gotta go get a battery. Okay guys, this thing wasn't quite 16 inches, so I couldn't get a 12 inch out of it. What I have here is 11 inches by 10 inches. So I'm gonna flop it one turn. That'll give me one by 10. Uh, these are so nice here. I wanna get some one by 10s. Maybe I'll cut um, a couple of two by fours out of the bottom. But I'd like to get the one by. Now I have a little bit of weighing on this one edge along the top, a little bit on the bottom. Not enough to really worry about, but, um, and I have a couple boards over there. There's probably one, two, three, four other boards that'll be good. Now the problem with the one by um, is that my kiln, I have it set up to hold eight foot three, so 12 footers are not gonna work for me in there. Although I could probably cut them at eight foot and then use you know a half of a board two half boards to fill in the kiln but that's going to give me four foot boards which I really haven't got a whole lot of use for them although I could use them for furniture but I want to cut some one by out of this because one by will bring me more uh, it's, it's worth more money to cut one by okay guys so there's ten one by ten and they all look pretty much the same. They're that grade there. I would call that a common if you're talking low type of grading. If you're talking uh, uh, Nelma, this is probably, oh, I don't know, a grade below uh, um, fin I want to say finish, but I can't think this morning. But it's construction grade, that's for certain. Now what I'll do with these, I'm not going to put them in the kiln. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stack them over there on the same place I'm stacking the 2 by 4s I'll make two layers of these. And then I'm going to uh, use those for face boards uh, on the garage. Or if, um, if I have any left over or whatever, then I'll plane them down into nice boards. But either way, a 1 by 10 Let's see, if you can figure for a board like this, you're probably looking in a common grade, about two bucks or more, maybe three bucks a board foot. So I'll go with 250 for a one by 10. Um, 250 times 10. No, that's a little too much for that, I think. I don't know, you can figure at least maybe 15, 20 bucks a board. So there's 150 to 200 dollars worth of wood right there. It's nice pine. I mean, there's no cracks in it. There's a couple of knots in it here and there, but it adds character. Some of that would make some nice furniture as well, pine furniture. And that's one of the things, you know, if you, you have to recognize that if pine furniture is something you like, the knots come with it. Nice. So I'm gonna be putting this uh, thing on next got a big crook in it there as well. I'm not sure the length of that. I hope I can cut that off because man that thing's really crooked. But if I can get any boards out of them at all I can. You know when you get a cr uh, bend like that in a tree it, it puts compression on both sides of this of the inner circle pretty far up the tree. It can go you know like maybe four or five feet up the tree. We'll see. Hey guys, so it's starting to rain. So out of that last log, there's two one by eights in there, eight foot long, and then um, a one by six, 12 foot, and a one by eight, 12 foot, besides the uh, 10 one by tens. So that was a nice uh, log there, gave some good stuff. I just got done blowing the sawmill off with the uh, um, leaf blower so I need to make sure I'm cleaned up here quick before I it starts to rain harder and put bullseye in the garage. I want to get another um, log onto the bunk there 
before it starts to rain too much. I want to get it up that way. I should have enough room to pull up there a little bit. I don't need to get it on the tow board necessarily. I'd like to, but um, doing this by yourself is just a, a nuisance. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. I need to get back in there and move that up a little bit. Well, I managed to get that up past the tow board there. You can see the edge of the tow board, I believe. So, this will be good where it is. Okay guys, so I got I got this on and turned the hole back around. This is a 15 inch can. That means I'll probably end up with a uh, 10, or a 15 inch log, diameter log. I'll probably end up with a, uh, uh, a 10 inch can from here, which is okay. Um, see what it looks like. There's quite a few branches coming off of this thing. But, um... I would like to cut 2x4s, which is what I'm chasing, but we'll see. If It depends on how nice they are, whether I cut them into 1x or not. So anyway, I'll be doing that tomorrow. 
I don't know, it was drizzling, then it stopped, but it's totally cloudy up there. Even dried up already. So, I don't know what it's going to do. i got to get those two boards out of there, though, and put them over by my pile. Alright, guys, so, I hope you're having a good day today. Wednesday, middle of the week, halfway through. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I need four more 12 foot 2 by 4s to put on the rack before I can actually stack the 1 by so I level the pile up. It's okay to put 2 by 4s you know, and then stack some 1 by on it for drying purposes, but you can't mix them and match them. I mean, even if you put two of these together, all they'll do is get uh, mold in between them, so can't do that either. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, well a little update on our road. They oiled and chipped the road, and they did a nice job on it. They put two coats of it down. Usually they only put one. The problem was they did this last year, not quite this good. I think they only put one coat. But then during the winter, they scraped it all back off with the grader when they were plowing snow, which really doesn't need to be if they would stop using a serrated edge grader. So I want to uh, dig a new ditch along here to drain the water better, but this looks good and it did come down to where, not, not to the complete end of my property, but just part way down. They ended right here with it. But it's a lot better. It goes about uh, a mile or so the opposite direction. And uh, it's better. I personally, I still ain't driving my good truck on that oil and chips because the stones knock the paint off your car. But anyway, they uh, took a section of the water line away. I don't know why. And I don't know what they're doing here. But that's where we're at. Got to walk bullseye and then I'm gone. I'm done for today. I can feel it raining, but it doesn't look like it yet, but I can feel it.